same on yours. Um, what I did find is that it was actually the um, this plastic piece where it connects um, onto the outer body, right? This doesn't spring back anymore on mine, or it really struggles to. So when you push it in, it's just staying in and it's putting pressure onto the onto the micro switch. So the micro switch doesn't have enough force to push this out. So it's basically just junk that's got in to um, in between the the switch and um, its surrounding area. So just try to blow it out or um, clean it in any way you can. See if there's anything there. Um, so. Give it a blow. Um, and then once that's done, um, we can basically reassemble everything. So um, one thing to just pay very careful attention when you're going to do that is move your antenna out the way. It's easy to forget and you'll get it trapped underneath um, everything else that you've just put on top. So um, and then it's just really a reversal of Okay, uh, really a reversal of everything we've done now. So, um, I'm tricking up getting this in. Make sure everything seems to fit nicely, and then you can put the click the connectors back in place. Make sure they're clicked in nice and firm. Uh, it should have a nice feel to the click. Okay, and don't forget the aerial. don't get the aerial back on properly, you're probably not going to get good reception, so it's kind of essential. <laughs> um, then the little black screw, it might be silver in your case, um, it's just the, the smaller one that you took out. Put the speaker back on. Just reseat the, the camera. Sorry, my hands are in the way the whole time. And that's clicked in nicely. And then just get the connector on here again. Nice and firm. Okay. And that looks like most of it's done. We just need to put the cover back on. Probably take the opportunity to just make sure there's no dirt underneath your um, camera, the the filter in front of the the lens in front of the camera, um, and click everything in place again, and put the screws back. I'm going to do the screws, work from one side, then the other, and back again. Um, and just to have even tension across it. Normally I wouldn't suggest you screw them all the way in, but it seems fine. It, usually you'd screw them most of the way in and then so the whole part is connected evenly and then you screw in the last little bit if you want to do 
do things properly. Actually, what you might want to do before screwing this all back in is pop the battery in and hold it with your hand without touching any of the electronics. Um, which is a little tricky. Um, and then see if it turns on before you go and do all of this again. I'm feeling pretty confident that it'll work this time, so let's, let's hope. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're all there. Pop your SIM card and SD card in again if you want. And let's try things up. So, the first thing you'll actually notice is popping the battery back in. Ah, I've still got my dead pixel. Uh, it doesn't immediately turn the phone on which it used to do. Um, so that's a good start. Um, so let's try, hold the button there and see where we go. Yeah, there's some life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Sometimes it would go that far. back in and the phone's good for another little while. Um, I hope this video has helped someone. Um, let me know in the comments below um, and please subscribe uh, for more videos like this. Um, cool. Thanks. Bye.